The internet computer has everything it takes to become the largest blockchain in the world, and yes, to even overtake Bitcoin in terms of market cap, while others were building faster casinos. The internet computer has been the only true innovator in the blockchain space. That period of quiet building is over and is now poised to showcase its undeniable strength. Back in 2009 when Bitcoin was created, it was a huge innovation that, for the first time ever, allowed people around the world to send monetary value over the internet, without involving a third party to oversee the transaction. Since Bitcoin is open source, a bunch of people decided to fork the network and create their own versions of it. Ones that were faster but at the cost of sacrificing security and decentralization, none of those tokens are still relevant today. Fast forward a few years and Ethereum, a new blockchain emerges. Most people back then didn't quite understand what it was and immediately assumed that Ethereum was threatening the market share of Bitcoin. This new Ethereum blockchain, unlike the previous Bitcoin clones brought something new to the table. For the first time since 2009, a blockchain could not only transfer tokens from one wallet to another, but the behavior of those tokens could be programmed by developers. This was a huge deal, and after a few short years, the concept of decentralized finance emerged for the first time in history. This was possible because of Ethereum smart contracts. When DeFi appeared, Ethereum simply exploded in popularity and, of course, in price. Some people saw the opportunity in forking Ethereum and and just like what happened to Bitcoin a couple of years before, this time a new breed of Ethereum clones emerged. In fact, nearly every single popular blockchain in existence today other than Bitcoin is an Ethereum clone. Projects like Solana, Avalanche, Sui and Aptos are all competing in this same category offering slight variations like running cheaper or faster but at their core they don't bring any fundamental new innovation to the table. But going back to smart contracts, they are in essence code containers that run directly on the blockchain. They can be accessed directly from a command prompt or terminal, but in order to do that, you need to have at least some coding knowledge. So in order to make these smart contracts accessible to everyone, application developers on Ethereum had to create front-ends. A front-end is pretty much a website or an application that interacts directly with the code. There is, however, a huge problem with this system. While Ethereum itself is a very decentralized blockchain, the front-ends used to interact with Ethereum applications are hosted on centralized servers. The centralized architecture used by many cloud companies makes the entire system vulnerable to single points of failure, censorship and downtime. If a cloud provider such as AWS or Google Cloud decides to deplatform a popular Ethereum front-end, users will lose their ability to interact with the decentralized application, even though the contracts themselves continue to operate on Ethereum. This exact thing happened a few weeks ago when half of the internet went down, along with applications on different blockchains. Another risk is a government or a corporation could exert pressure on the cloud provider to shut down a front-end, which effectively censors user access. This directly contradicts the unstoppable nature that is expected of smart contracts. There is also the risk of attacks. A compromised, centralized server could potentially serve malicious code to users, which could trick them into signing harmful transactions or misrepresenting the actual state of the blockchain. And now let's talk about how ICP is so different from all these blockchains and most importantly, how ICP is poised to become the largest blockchain in the world, overtaking even Bitcoin. The one thing you must understand is that the internet computer is not just another layer one blockchain. It is the world's first full stack decentralized cloud. While every other project was busy building faster Ethereum clones, Definity was solving the real problems. On the internet computer, there is no separation between the front end and the back end. The entire application, the website you see, the smart contract code it talks to, and the data it stores is all hosted 100% on chain served directly from the blockchain to your browser. This means that applications on ICP are, by default, unstoppable, tamper-proof, and censorship-resistant. There is no AWS server to deplatform. There is no Google Cloud to have a technical outage. There is no centralized server to hack. The problem is not just solved, it is eliminated at the architectural level. But this is where the thesis gets truly powerful. The internet computer isn't just a walled garden for its own applications, it is designed to be the base layer for all of Web3. This is made possible through a revolutionary new technology called ChainKey. Think of ChainKey as a master key that allows the internet computer for the first time ever to securely create and control addresses on other blockchains. This includes Bitcoin, Ethereum, and in the future, every other ledger. ICP can solve the front-end problem for Ethereum. Developers can now build a 100% on-chain, unstoppable front-end for a popular DeFi application like Uniswap and host it on the internet computer. The result is the first truly decentralized 
application with an unstoppable backend on Ethereum and an unstoppable frontend on ICP. This is how ICP will host and secure the entire multi-chain ecosystem. But it goes even deeper. This technology allows ICP to solve the problems of the future and the two biggest challenges of the next decade will be AI and data ownership. Let's start with AI. We are all seeing the explosion of AI models like ChatGPT. But there is a massive problem. These AI models are completely centralized. For most serious industries, this makes them unusable. Here's the example. A law firm has thousands of sensitive client cases. They would love to use an AI to scan those cases for precedents and legal arguments, but can they upload those confidential documents to OpenAI's centralized servers? Absolutely not. That would be a massive security breach and a violation of attorney-client privilege, and they would have no control over how it's used. The internet computer solves this by allowing AI models to be run inside decentralized tamper-proof smart contracts. The law firm can have its own AI running in its own secure canister on ICP. They can upload their sensitive data to that canister knowing it is fully encrypted and never leaves their control. This is the only way for AI to be adopted by any serious regulated industry. In order to scale, artificial intelligence must become decentralized. This brings us to the second challenge, personal data. Right now, in the Web2 world, you are the product. Corporations like Google and Facebook hijack your online behavior, package up your personal data, and sell it to the highest bidder, all while you remain completely oblivious. The internet computer flips this entire model using a technology called vet keys. This is a breakthrough that allows data to be encrypted on the blockchain and unlocked only by a user's request. What this means is that you will finally own your data. Imagine all your online activity stored in a personal encrypted canister that only you control. If a corporation wants to use your data for market research, they have to ask for it. For the first time, you will be able to sell and monetize your own data in a secure and private way instead of having it stolen from you. Finally, let's talk about the end game. What about Amazon and Google? The innovation here is so profound, it will be a logical business decision to integrate it. The market is moving toward this kind of technology. Definity is building a project called Utopia, which is essentially a set of standards and infrastructure that allows anyone, even a centralized cloud provider, to run their hardware on the internet computer. They can offer their clients the ability to run applications in a secure, tamper-proof, unstoppable environment, all while reducing their own risks associated with hacks and downtime, offering a superior, more resilient product. This is my thesis. The internet computer is giving us the decentralized internet itself. It's the full-stack decentralized cloud computing platform that provides the solution for every blockchain's fatal flaw, the solution for AI's privacy problem, and the solution for big tech's centralization. The internet computer is the secure foundation that will ultimately host all of them. And that is why I stand by my opening statement. In a world that runs on this technology, overtaking Bitcoin is a logical, long-term conclusion. If you understand this, you understand the future. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.